believe that is the right one. Hey. Yeah, that is the right one. Let's do this. First time streaming by myself, Noel Lankowski here, because he is a snare that I will be doing this. I will try to refrain from looking at my phone throughout this. Never played this game before, nor do I know much of the law, so bear with me. We'll be playing Harry Potter. Bit of the uh of the good old boy who lived. Uh just checking on the other monitor. Uh I think we're all good. I think we're good to go. This is obviously a Zissar screen. Uh, I believe from what I've seen we start off as a fifth year student but we've never actually been so we are like going in last minute to sit them exams because you know life I guess I believe it's set a hundred years before the events in the movies well the original movies I haven't seen the, uh, the um, Fantastic Beasts at all uh, so yeah uh, I guess we could start I believe it is character creation yeah it is do we be a black woman? That is the question. I believe it'll help the views, but it's got a snazzy, a snazzy uh, thing. I don't know if that's a boy or a girl, but it's bug eyed as fuck. He looks a bit. I'm not going to say that. They all look a bit like. Do we play as a girl or do we play as a guy? That is the question. But the. Uh... I don't know why they're all dressed like they're in like the 19th century. Well, not even 19th, 18th century London, but you know. I guess Hogwarts is in uh, was it Scotland, the castle? It's before the movies. I believe it's set 100 years before the movies. I can check. Well, before Harry Potter's born, I think it is. Yeah, the late 1800s. Uh, around 100 years before the events of Philosopher's Stone. But yeah, it's, it's old. That's why a lot of the teachers are thingy. I, I, I don't, like, I might be wrong on this, but I do believe it's, um, it's around the last time the trial was at Couples, that they might play into that. I assume she's a Weasley. You know what, we'll play as a guy, we won't farm the views. He's got quite snazzy hair, I assume we can change that. Yeah, but the Weasleys are, like, one of the oldest families, aren't they? Why are all the, uh, the skin colour? Does it not change? Like, did that change at all? Oh, it does. But wait, why did it go like darker and then? Graphics are not the best, are they? I, uh, I'd say I'm around that, maybe. No, that's a bit dark. Out there? Yeah. Got through them all. Not really much of a change is there for the fish. Oh, that, no, we are going back to that. We'll stick with the first one. I think that's good. I think face shape's not that important. Hairstyle, I like the hairstyle. Not a fan of that. Not a fan of that. Even in the summer, yeah. That's pretty snazzy. I'm not going to pick that haircut. We will do a 360. They're all very long, aren't they? I like that. That's like a wolfy cut. Oh, I'm going to get this haircut in the summer. Now that you've said that. I think that's pretty close to what I have. I'm not going to go with it, though. That's pretty snazzy. That's pretty cool. I like that one. I like like this type, like the textures look or this, you know? We got some action in the back. Or do we just full on just go full on like don't even know what I am? Get the view what the fuck is that? Um Oh I've always wanted dreads. Don't think it'll suit me. Why are they all like tied up in buns though? I think it's between this one. Don't mind that one, but I think that one's pretty cool. That one's a bit too much texture almost. That one's pretty cool. That or that. That, no, no, that. Uh, it's, what's this one? Now we'll go with this. I think that's a decent look. You can change the hair color. Jet black, new. Oh, you can have bright colors. Not in pink, but like a reddy color be cool. Like a purpley. I like that purple. Green's a bit chalkery. Blue's alright. That's a cool colour. Green, like that green's cool. That darker green. Not a big fan. Where's that purple? Was that it? Or was that it? I think we'll go like a... Do we go purpley or do we think we should go a bit more ready? That's more pinkish, isn't it? 
like dark purple there or is it this one yeah like a ready purple uh, i think we'll go with the darker purple no fuck it we'll go with uh we'll go with that no not that one this one the ready blue purpley colors is it nymph adorner complexion i thought i just did complexion or is it just like the types of like yeah. oh We'll add some colour in there. Freckles. Do you not want to be ginger? Yeah, I'm not going to have any freckles, though, I think. I think we're good like that. Scars. Oh, oh. That's pretty cool. Like some Anakin vibes in there. I remember not to sit too close to the monitor because I keep doing that, and it's not the best. That's, uh, that's, that's, that's boring, that. That's wolverine -esque. That's pretty cool. That was Anakin Skywalker. Do you know what? I think we're gonna go. We're gonna go Anakin Skywalker. I feel like that's a vibe. Oh god, I feel so fucking full. I have just got back, so I am very. Yeah. You do not have my eye color, I bet you. Yeah, the blue, that that blue is pretty close. Cool, I think. That fits more that colour, but we'll go with the blue. Well, they're more like my colour, but I'm, I'm fuck this. We are not going with me. We are going with a vibe. See, I think eyebrows are the most important part. This is like, I love the creator of the character. I could sit there for days. I think the dark fits the best. They're all right. They're all right. I don't really mess with this eyeshadow shapes. They're just eye, eyeshadow, eyebrow. Yeah, we'll just keep it like that, fuck it. <laughs> I think it's pretty good. Voice one or voice two. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. That's Harry Potter. That was quite something. Oh, that sounds like a girl. We can do a witch. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. So I can be transgender? That's pretty cool. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. That's a girl's I voice. Indeed a student, I can change I the pit. Well a few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, he sounds pure evil. That was wonderful. I believe I'm. That was quite something. So that's that's the boy voice. That's the girl voice. We'll go through them all. So I didn't I didn't hear that. I am indeed a, a few cobwebs and some. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really. That was quite something. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. I hear that. A few cobwebs and some dust. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be. Able These do not sound very human, do they? I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. That was quite something. Do we do the uh, the girl voice? I am indeed a student. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. That was quite something. We'll do that one. Fuck it. And some dust. We'll do I normal difficulty. Inside. I am going to be awful at this. I'll call it my name, and then we'll do. No. I'm not doxing myself. I, I assume I'm going to be a wizard. Yeah. Yeah, sod it. We we've locked it in now. It's what's done is done. Oh, I look a bit freaky, don't I? I look like I'm on some kind of list. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I don't like I'm that voice. Sure I'm going to say that right now. So quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me all the time. Oh, <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's yeah, because I know, I know London me. I your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Of course. So was there any... I don't know, I've never seen Eric, but were the Death Eaters we back the then? Because obviously... Were Death Eaters like three as as Mr. Riddle? Or were they... Not at all, sir. Are they, did they predate him, or was he, they just his followers? Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Hmm. I wonder if they'll add the uh, the other schools in the DLC when they bring it out. 
my uncle used to do that, just whip imaginary things. And they put him in an asylum. island. Just as followers. Well, he just snapped his neck and half. That one of them contortionists. Warner Brothers presents. This isn't the Harry Potter music, is it? It's not the theme song anyway. Visiting world of Harry Potter. It's loud. Am I have to turn it down? I don't know. I don't know if it's too loud for me or not. I'm barely, barely here myself. Not a bad thing. I suppose it's cinematic, How isn't it? You you left for Scotland. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? It's bright. That's what it is. A new student. I hope I can change the air because I'm not a fan of it. Yes, sir. I'm Hello. starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. That's because I'm built different. Or have I? Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Aren't we all? Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. I wonder if Hagrid will be there, because isn't he a couple of hundred years old? Have you seen this? I don't know, I am literally just chatting out my arse at this point. I have. Goblin Rebellion. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, but that's I bright. believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? Uh, she wrote to me about Ranrock before what's she that died. Like? 30 years what before the, the event? It's not even that. Activities. Before it was the 40s, wasn't it? Received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eliazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. And you just handed it over. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Big spider pal, the one that, the one that Ron is uh, deathly, scared, uh, like, deathly afraid of. Of me. How did you... Wait. I've got the magic touch. We did. How did that lad on the front not notice the massive fuck off dragon? I need to stop swearing. He's got some good gigs on there, doesn't he? That was a bit dramatic. Can I just got on the train? I know that it's like what preschool, but like surely the train don't want run like what once a year? It must run more frequently than that. Yeah, but I feel like a dragon it must make noise at some point, doesn't it? Is the stream laggy? Because it looks laggy as anything. But it says it's fine. Is it too loud as well, the game? Alright, so I gotta heal. Uh, just drinking random portions from random people I've just met. Seems, uh... What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... He's in a better place now. What the hell got into that damn thing? 
Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir? Love, I love my name, man. I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a pork key. My socks, man. Look at the f- item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. So we touched the pork key and now we're here with my, uh, f my, my fire hides on. Like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this pork key. I'm dressed, why. I'm dressed for the streets. And do, like I can do a twirl and give you a oh, damn, shake in his hair. Fabulous. He's got broad shoulders on him, Donnie. We are built for this. I'm gonna have to turn that brightness down or Okay, well let me turn the brightness down, never mind. How far did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage travelled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands, sir. So, about seven hours? Do you think... The port key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And then he got nom 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 I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. But why could we open if it and not sure him? you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Well, I'm not going to say no, am I? Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Yeah, well, I don't. Fa well, I do fancy him because he's me. I am stunning and brave. Mind your step. <laughs> Mind my step. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? Well, this is a bit. question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. You can't, like, there is no, like, walk. It's either you. Is there, like, an auto run? Uh, settings. Where the fuck are the settings? This one? No. Is it this one? No. Is it this one? No. no. Yeah, well, well, first of all, I do need to turn down the brightness because it is way too fucking. I don't know why it's locked at that. Docks my shitty graphics card. No, 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 no. Yeah, fuck it, we'll leave it. Uh, I don't think you can walk in this. But that or I am just not figuring it out. Yes, a powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. They're knee high. Well, you say they're knee high, sorry, right? But I don't actually know how high they go. Like, they're tucked into my. Like, I've got three quarter length on, I assume, unless they go further down. I don't really know how it works. Well, are they. Are my trousers in the socks? Are my socks in the trousers? Hogwarts Castle was built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. Oh, I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah! That's the path down below. This way. I jumped. It's the game to stand. Uh, sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. That's just a fucking... Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. And the best they could do was a block. One work you were practicing. The best they can do is a block Focus of ice. On the center. I swear when you break an ice, you hit the uh, the corner. It's not the center, but you know. I need to tap it. That did nothing, did it? Can I can I use it on it? Oh, I can fucking hit fire it! Yow. Excellent. I hate when the ice does that, to be fair. His camera is just left an active target. Oh, it's just got like an auto, I've got to hold it. Got an auto lock then. 
Oh, I love these slidey things. Well, that was that was purely pointless, wasn't it? That was a bit rougher than Can I do I it again? Oh, man, I am fucking popping off here. Can't we just, like, use Leviosa to go over there over it? Is it Leviosa or Leviosa? There, oh, you can run jump now. I didn't realize it to be We're so athletic. Now. It's just ahead. All I'm saying is, this was Harry Potter, he'd be fuck with them skinny arms, little twing. Steady yourself. Repairo. When did he get beat by some seven year old? Uh, yeah, sevens. Are oh, most of the spells supposed to be in Latin, not like just repair or like. like... <laughs> no, they're not very smart, are they? Well, so am I supposed to. I swear it said that I'm not allowed to use the uh, magic, but, but they're allowing me this one time. I don't really know. Or is he like gonna give me a pass? Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That portkey led us here for a reason. Not very private, is it? It's out in the open. Anything that seems out of place. Hmm. Many much of the surrounding, blah 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 blah. Uh, so I'm just press. Investigating. It's a mural of some kind. Oh, they're playing Magic the Gathering. Our host was a noted seer. Are we gonna duel? Interesting. Love some Yu-Gi-Oh idea. Yeah, but to be fair, they, like, I don't know who set the traps. To be fair, isn't one of the traps a giant dog though? That they like. I don't even remember how they get around the giant dog. So I gotta explore the ruins, but the uh, the marker is. Why don't I just shoot it like this? Um, I'm not doing very good at this. I mean, what's the task? This looks interesting. This statue. This may have been his home. Well, where did you? You just you just assume that. It's down. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? I don't know. What's this? Professor Fig. Oh. Keep up. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's I love some trick, mute. Like the glow on the port key container. Have I got like Etsy Alditore, like just eagle eye vision? Merlin's name. Godric's heart. We TP. Where are we? I don't believe it. What's that noise? Uh, that chandelier looks expensive, doesn't it? Or is this Gringold? Gring Hello. Oh, it's the it's the midget. <clears throat> Casual racism to carry on the stream. Moment. <laughs> <Ooh. clears throat> uh, where are we 
Is Gringle is it Gringle Fold or something like that? To Gringotts Wizarding Battle. There we go. The midget dwarf Vol thing told us. I presume. <laughs> Precisely. That's fraud. The key. Mm hmm? White's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way then. Security measure is not very good. It'd be shit out of luck if I weren't there, wouldn't it? After you. It'd be quite funny if there was like a maximum height to ride and you couldn't come on. If you don't wish to lose them. Hmm. How many volts are there? Hundreds. Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both could have arranged for such a service. You'll want to take a breath. A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Truly, if you're going to make a bank this big, you make it more like... ...planned out. Oh, they got him like a little like children's hat and everything. They dressed him up. Vault number... Vault 12. Momentous day! <laughs> hmm. On your way. I was going to say. Like the glow you saw on the porky container? No, I'm darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. I thought that was just a game bug an hour, but no, his, his armband was glowing. My bad. My bad. I'm walking off without me. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. Thank you for your help. Thank you, Sean. One quick look. Now we're all good. Good night. Oh, I can. Oh, it's healed itself. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir. I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. Best of luck. <sighs> Professor, that was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Mm. Oh, an order's like an SS soldier? Revelio. 
Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? What's on that? Your wand and focus. I don't really know what... Oh, he's catching me. Oh, I don't like that mini game at all. Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. I'm just grab one of these cups and leave. Why is it only Roman numerals anyway? How do I cast it? Do I just... Uh, that's a door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. I hope they explain the what this glow is. reveals the way forward. Then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Be nice if he actually out for once. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Do I not get a light? Close. Okay. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Alright, uh, for some reason the L brings up the save menu. At least he's coming in useful with the one. He's being fucking stood there, just commandating on the entire thing. That's my job. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Now I'm getting fucking deja vu already. What is it? As of the guess, a glow. Lumos. What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Uh, Lumos it? Not Lumos, Jared. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Oh, fuck, fuck that. Oh, tell me this is not the way you unlock new stuff. This is going to be an interesting... Also... Uh, but how do I use it? Tap one. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. It's like a magpie. But did I just have to stand here and wait for him to stand up? Oh, that noise went right through me. My man's just having a rap battle to himself. And then I can just go pop a light out. Oh man, he, he could have taught me some actual moves. Man's just. I could just pop a light.
The amount of dancing I'm doing, and I'm not even doing any damage. If I have like a cooldown. I gotta basically let them attack me. I need, I need you to attack me. There we go. Where are they? Am I good? Stay close. Lumos. Professor, Professor Fig, Professor, where are you? Where are you? And I'm so sorry. What's happening? Wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. This way. This way. They're just fireflies. We're off to see the wither, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Because, 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 wow, because. I glow again. All I'm saying is the last time I did this, it didn't work out very well, did it? Oh, not this again. Rebellion. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Is that him over there? Am I allowed? To, am I allowed to go over there? What well, you've stood up? Oh, I need to stand in a way that they'll. Okay. Seems I have no choice. I need to align these statues with their reflections. Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh, cute, you're gonna retake this enemy. It's a stupefy. Do I hold it afterwards or? Oh, they're everywhere. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, he, can, he can't half move. Stupid find the right people. I just wanted to go to school. Why do I keep pressing L? I'm gonna have to unbind that because I keep pressing it. Lumos. Now where are we going? Back the way we came. Wasn't that chest over here somewhere? Oh, I'm rapid now. Look at me. Cross country champion 2010. Did I go to this thing? Yeah, we're this far into it. Fuck it, let's just go. It's the negating. I'm not a fan of that hair, you know. I wish I could change it. It's the colour that I'm not a fan of. I don't know, but I found this floating above that 
basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder... Is this where we get the memories? Follow oh, the leader, leader, leader. Wait, I am not drinking that. That looks... I'm very confused right now. All is in place. The poor key is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. Me. We've done all that we can. I thought he was going to kill himself there. Uh. Oh, I can't say that. I thought he was going to unalive himself there. Uh. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Magical. Can I see magic. Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. <clears throat> Miriam. And perhaps George died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. I don't think he died. He just got eaten and by a dragon. It seems. Are the key to understanding why. We will. It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. The boys. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's vault. And why are you here? My, my, I bought no my wand out. For that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir? They have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you did terrible. That was a very friendly, was it? I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Oh, the vault's not happy about that.
What I had to do like later is about other shit. <laughs> Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. A little different. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Are we at Hogwarts? Are we at Hogwarts? Are we at Hogsmeade? Are we in the Forbidden Forest? <laughs> See, why couldn't we have just got on the train? I said this from the start. It's like Lord of the Rings all over again. Why didn't we just take the shortest, simpler, safer route? Probably should have put it on the hardest difficulty, but you know. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. I do got a bit of a uh, Tom Riddle vibe about me, don't I? Not me personally, the character. If I'm in my fifth year, why do I need the salt in it? That's Harry Potter. If that's not Harry Potter. Nigellus Black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Ah, uh, the Black family tree. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has. Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. Cheers. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. It's not about that many people, is there? I swear there was more people. Beat tech Harry Potter. Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. She's not even ginger. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Well, my eyes look a bit gormous, don't they? Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come yes, here <laughs> with preferences and preconceptions, certain expectations. Uh, I'll do it I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. I like that voice. Indeed, much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. I wonder. 
I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Mm, what is it? <laughs> I guess so. A desire to learn? I do enjoy a good puzzle, and I believe I have a ready mind. Mm, you're clever indeed. You have the ability to reflect clearly on that which puzzles others. And you've a ready mind, quick to learn. Perhaps you belong in Ravenclaw. I answered two fucking questions. I'm not doing Ravenclaw purely because it has the worst, um... It has the worst side quests and I do not want to ruin the game. We are going to choose a different house. Right, Hufflepuff, known as patience or loyalty and hard work. Gryffindor, daring, bravery and chivalrous or chivalry. Ravenclaw is intelligence, creativity and wit. And cunning, ambition and hunger for power. Due to popular demand of myself, we are going with Slytherin. I detect a growing sense of ambition and eagerness for power. Si, senor. Now I just need to clip it and uh, make it look like I got that from the start. You belong in Slytherin. Look at that smile. And pearly whites. Me and the boys. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. On me way. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet, nice to meet, you, meet too. you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. What do they do with the hat for the rest of the year? Do they just like stick it on a shelf? It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. It may be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I can be quite resourceful. I suspected as much. Well, that's this what Tom Riddle says. To the Slytherin common room. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. You're pretty Sorry, fucked man. if you got a lisp, yeah. aren't you? Aspiration. Aspiration. Stelly snake. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. That was a quick sleep one. Um, is it half ten? I might do it for another hour because we have literally done nothing. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. To be fair, I am like, what, year five? And they're in like first year? Or am I with the other year? Is it fifth years? I don't even know. Don't even know how old you are in year five in this. Walk fucking head first. Looks like a bit like Anakin, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> 
Got some Revenge of the Sith vibes going on. Hurry myself. I suppose some introductions are in order. That's my introduction. Where the, excuse me, I have pronouns. Oh, let's go and talk to Big Sebastian over here. Yeah, all right. Can I help you? Be Tech Tom Riddle. Oh, you're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figs, who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Figure all right. It was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience nonetheless. Interesting perspective. How did you and Fig manage to escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. Yes. What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough, but not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. I was in the restricted section last night and I came on some awfully strange magic. Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Which ones? Oh, can I make Hogwarts? I may have met a kindred spirit. <laughs> That is a conversation for another time. It was good meeting you. Good luck today. Right, so we got Imelda and oh man, these are just not real names, are they? Go on, chat shit, I dare you. I fucking dare you, go on. Bang. You get some pet. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Oh, she's Irish. There's always an Irish one. Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. Told you. What about the Marion, do you? You should have listened to me. Ah, oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills on a broom are legendary. Well, not on a broom, though, you dickhead. We had a bit. And I think you're underestimating the nature of a dragon. A broom would have been kindling. <laughs> <laughs> not the way I fly. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my Big broom up Shinji, classes. if you know, you know. Uh. Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. Are you a keen wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? Don't know, my villain. Goodbye, Imelda. Nice meeting you. Oh, she fucking hell, she's keen, isn't she? Maybe they are. Are they fishies? I, I think I heard one. Go on, I've heard that last name before. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. Is he blind? I'm ominous. Ominous gaunt. Nice to meet you, ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. Well, if I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> you're definitely in the right house. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here, though I doubt you'll need it. Were you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. 
He was obsessed with blood status, a pure blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't tell, us, stranger. don't tell us he's blind or just like a bit like. Here's the new fifth year Slytherin in here. Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. Cheers. I assume that's you. I do go this fucking rested bitch first, don't you? Well, I don't see him. I love a good furry. Oh, the apple and pears. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. That's how we start now, the game. in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. A book. Here you are. Oh, it's a picture book. Oh, it's like a magic pop-out book. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. It's a diary. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This it's... way. Oh, that's, that's got something. I, I want the light. No, thank you. I want the light. Oh, it's chess. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Believe me. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. Do keep up. Why don't you cast Revelio on that statue and see what Revelio. the field guide can provide? The statue depicts the Kelpie, a ship shifting water demon near to the island of Great Britain, which usually takes the form of a long maned horse. The largest Kelpie ever reported in the Loch Ness Monster in Scotland. You just don't know if it's got a challenge or progress towards completing that. Okay. Uh. This is your wizarding level. Yeah. I love when they have loads of menus. I've got regular spec. I'm not wearing fucking speckies. You bored? Yeah. This thing's looking at me funny. Like Shall do. Can I just murder people? I am, it's not the best. No, you can't kill her. That's disappointing. Lumos. And light her up there. Oh, 
I swear I get to say the word before, now it just opens whenever. Got that drip though, don't know what you mean. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Open the map. Welcome to Hogwarts. Here's your location. Mm. Is this one? No. What's making me go to that one? Central Hall. I'm gonna call it 50 minutes. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. A down a row. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. I don't remember this in the movies. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross station, so to speak. Lots of people taking pictures. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. A honorable butterbeer. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. It is definitely evil. Can you tell me more about the charms class? What can I learn in charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. You, you fucking I know the you know you more bitch. to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. No, I'm not going to. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Oh, Might that's I rely aggressive. On Professor Fig to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today, and remember to use your field guide. 
It will be invaluable. All right. An old pot. Condescending. To me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Yeah, that's why you Come want me to do it then. In my classroom after you've attended both classes oh, today, gosh. and I'll explain more about those assignments <laughs> I mentioned, and we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Right. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? No, I just said didn't happen. I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. I'm not yes, lying, though. Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Main quest. Main quest are uh, locked by spell or level requirement. This was going to be done by completing the quest's assignment to the quest record. Which one do we do? Defense against the Dark Arts. Oh, we'll do that one. That one seems more interesting. Leviosa. I don't know what that one does, but we'll do this one. Apparently, I can't do that. Oh, no, wrong way. That one. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. That's a sound Thank nav. You. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead. What with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies. Not flexing, but own I've got Google Maps. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Is everybody just inbred in this? Not the same names of like people like 200 years in the future. That's Charm's compass. Through the big doors. Okay, I can't go that way. I found it was just lagging. Oh my god, this is stuttery. Shouldn't be lagging this badly. Why does it look so... Why are the polygons are so bad in this area? Jesus. What are we doing over here? Little bat! Do you know how much distress you cause? Portraits have feelings too! It's taken hours to de your Aunt Mildred! Oh, Merlin's light child! Anyone would think you were half your age! Now, grow up! <laughs> When they ask you a question now, isn't it? Grubby little faces. I'll just die. Might as well be surrounded by Jarvis. You done? Okay. What's this show? Young one's now a teacher herself. It's a wonder she's not gobbled up by her own fanged geranium. Uh, you wouldn't like why they're from like. I don't even know what accent that is. I'm bored of them already, let's go. Let's go and do a class. What are you looking at? Oh my god. Professor Hackett! Perhaps.
Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Oh, yeah. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in Eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today, we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity. A especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned. Starting with something small. Oh yeah, I love this stupid little mini game that they do. Up and the... Is this going to be number two? Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. Like a child. No. Hmm. Oh, blind people at this school, isn't there? You think they better fix like eyesight with all the magic, but no. Turn into a rat. With a basic cost. Oh my god, why is it lagging so bad? Jesus. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember. <laughs> Good. Now the basic. Well done. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Levioso. This should be easy. Protego, stupid Protego. Just, just cheated, but you know. Good form. I know. This can't be your first. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. Levioso, stupid one. I do join my pursuit. Stupid one. Stupid one. Stupid one. Yourself. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. Better <laughs> this. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Slytherin. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Move both Glad in Slytherin. Opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So. I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. Oh, I'm not fucking batter. You drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Thank you. Why is everyone so posh? Thank you, darling. Thank you. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. 
I thought it was fat there, it's just fucking uh... Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. Well, all two it's people. Good practice. Practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again. Be surprised with what I can do with a wand. First duel. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh. Fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. My man. Next time. My man Luke. There's a chest here somewhere. No, we'll do this one more time. So we, yeah, we got no, we got plenty of time. Oh, there's some mirrors on the outside. Uh, I don't remember how to... Oh, it's upstairs. Yes. Is it down here? All they do is sit around all day. This is on this level. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased. Can't call me beautiful. It's been a fantastic stream. And then the werewolves join the goblins in the right, We got another uh, checkpoint over here. I still don't know why I can't just like. We'll do this quest, shall we? All leads, aren't we? So we're getting beef last I knew by uh by Fulham. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Thank you. My best mate. Hello, I am Netty. So you are the new student. Natty or not? Have you met Professor Ron? Oh he's got fucking <laughs> battered by Fulham. Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to Year 5 of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Uh, 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 
I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? No. Not a clue. Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. These classes are very small, now, aren't they? Put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are, and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Oh, I do not like this mini game. It's gonna get more difficult. We are gonna be in a bit of a, a bit of a spot of bother. I don't mind gonna try and pronounce that. Ah, yeah, there we go. He did it for me. What a boy. That is not bad. You are a I am gonna refrain from doing their accents. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Potential is nothing Keep without practice. It. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. You made me walk up five flights of stairs to take me back outside. Cheers for that. No, I don't mind this game. It's it's very um slow. I think we're getting into it now. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? I said Quidditch is man, did you So, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Huh? 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 <laughs> he definitely has a hairy ass chest. Very simply, cast Akio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Akio, uh, think of this like excellent, but not to worry. Oh, oh, I found balls, okay. That's it! Happens to the best of us. Splendid! Easy. 50 points, let's go. You could have explained that a bit better. Very good! Points to Slytherin! But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. <laughs> You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. I hope Here? you are enjoying the stream. Yes, sir. Please very much comment, like, and subscribe. I haven't taken Link's uh, channel out. Are you fucking bitch walking in front of me? Right. How do I. Oh, is it? Are we taking it in turns? That is how it's done. I don't know. Okay. That's too much. That's too much. Oh, that's fifty. That's fifty. Watch this. There we go. Oh, ho, 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 ho. well done. Here we go. I like playing balls. Alan's not gonna make it. Phew. Oh, that's gonna be close. A perfect score. Remarkable. How different I am.
So can you not win that one? Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Let us see this. Yeah, I ain't winning this. That is how it's done. <laughs> oh, that's what oh, I fucking let go of that. Come on. Yeah, cheat cheat boys. Excellent control there. I don't think I can win now. Unless she gets zero. Yeah, I can't win. That's in the 50. Nah, piss off. That was in the 50. It was rigged. Very I'll take good, the W. You. Well done. That's stuttering. Oh, Not very good at the, uh, the Akiu. Let's see. No, I think we've got 20 minutes, we might better get one more class in. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Thank you very much. It took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Took weeks, but you couldn't fuck remember at the start, but you dickhead. Thank you, but I've been holding my own. I appreciate your confidence. Oh, I love being a cocky I little shit. From Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Uganda. Every 60 seconds in Uganda. Is the magic the same? This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Wagadu? Isn't that like a Scooby Doo name? Oh, do we go with the racist dance? I think we do. Spells cast without a wand must be less powerful than those cast with a wand. No, no, not at all. Wizarding magic cast without a wand is just as powerful. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. What's the point of the I wand then? I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. Not quite sure what an edifice is. The first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Hogwarts, Wagadu, big Wagadu. And is it Darmstrad or ah, something like that? I is the um? Wants to talk to you, is it Romania or Europe? Not keep him waiting. And then not know about the girls' time. school is. Right. Of course, you can use Akio on humans, if you're so inclined. Well, 
you'd be using it on clothing to be precise about it. You know it's going to work on humans. All right, you cock me. So if you get naked, it was useless. After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Accio this, Accio that, cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. Well, she's definitely from Yorkshire. Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. We've all been there. A word, if you would. Anything for you, Mr. Arley? You wanted to speak with me, Professor. I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Love a bit of homework. Hmm. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? I am indeed Lee. Hello. You wanted to speak to me? Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Thank you, but it really wasn't all that challenging. My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be a bit overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I find Professor Ronan's lessons a bit more challenging than you do. Because you're not me. I am the chosen one. Not that chosen one, though. Yet, too, simply because you had one victory over Sallow, he never backs down from the fight. There's a duo. Right, um. Side quests. Or do we just. Um. Where are the side quests? How do I get that back up? Quests. Here we do a side quest. Um maybe. We'll do we'll do this one. Okay, fair. We should be able to just. Yeah, why do we go? I assume we go down the stairs. Why do I run like that? We'll quickly do this side quest and then I think we'll, uh. We'll call it there. You just got anything interesting to say? No? I'm gonna lock that. Uh, what the fuck was that? Here I've come from the toilet bowl where she said I could swim. Did you practice a mole? As long as for only one time per week, I can plunge the boy's lavatory. Not for the meek. Please, please, you'll make me late. He tried to stop me, did rancorous carp, sought to trap me, confine me inside of a jar. But he failed at it. covered in shit. For some reason the dolls seem to really like the game and I'm not quite sure why. Glad you can make it. Lucan's just over there. I'm trying to talk to you. Why is this glowing? Revelio. Let's talk it, eh? I'll just off on another adventure, are we? Shut up. Right, where is he? Big man. Can I help you? He's literally about 10. Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinated duels across once. <laughs> it's a little A tea. dueling club of sorts. 
<laughs> it's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I seem to have a knack for dueling. Then you've come to the right place. How does cross wands work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Prize? Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in cross ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We are going to do as many side quests as possible. We'll make you regret signing up. Why has he got a floppy hat? I wrote for the yellow shield to control spells like the levitation. Okay, so I, I basically need to break their shield. Damage here. ahead but keep this up and you could be the next school champion brilliant count me in i shall now it takes time to organize these duels but check with me later i may have something lined up for you again congratulations on your first crossed ones victory well fought hope to see you back here again how do i get out of here it's off of the sweat now can i go through there or not yet Not yet. I feel sorry for your next opponent. Cheers. Just wait till I've grown a bit, then we'll see how well you do. If you say so, Fluffy. Yeah. Um, right, I think we should just explore for another five minutes and then I will like, call it there. Though you are too kind, we thank you. Please, hold your applause. Oh, where the fuck did I go? I do you think I'm supposed to be in here. Yeah. Um. Another chest there. Make some cool. How nice to see you. Just speed everything up next time, you know. Oh, that's pretty cool. Me and the boys. This is going. Rebellion. I don't. He's talking to me, but I don't think I've unlocked it. There's another one. Ravenclaw Tower. Oh, 
un un mort là. What is it? Thirteen. Well, I'll figure it out. Uh, it's that seems come fuzzling. Like I said, if you have enjoyed, please think about liking and subscribing. I will try to get some clips from this stream. I can't imagine there'll be that many. But it's been a decent stream. I think we are back on Thursday. I mean, like, I think we will be. Oh, I meant to sell that. There's just fucking gloves and spin around. Revelio. Pretty magical, isn't it? Can I go through this way? No. Alright then. Um, please tell me I didn't just change where I am based on the glove. Um, yeah, we will be streaming on Thursday. Me and Link. I, I did change to her. Oh no, I didn't. We got done it. Uh, we'll be streaming Pokemon Red. I believe we're up to. I think we're on four gym badges. I'm not quite sure. I don't remember that one. Please tell me I can go outside. Yeah, thank God for that. Just exploring a bit more. Just to uh, see what's going on. But yes, um, been a quite a good stream. Just taking care of a couple of things, you know, getting ready. I think next stream of this will be a lot better, maybe some better clips and whatnot. But yeah. I mean the start was fun, it kinda kinda tailored off a bit, you know, tapered off, but you get that with these games. The start is just very much oral. What are you up to now? And then uh, after that I think we'll uh, we'll be good. Oh hate all that isn't games, we still haven't figured out a good way to do that. Oh, I mean, 22 views is not bad. Better than the last stream. And that's whistling. Um, yeah, I'm. I think mean, uh, she's. Uh, we we don't normally stream on a Thursday, but I think under Professor Black's direction, it's smart one as deputy headmistress to offer the position of divination professor at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. We are thrilled at the prospect of having you join our distinguished faculty. Please inform us of your intentions as soon as possible. I eagerly wait your response. Warm regard. Matilda Weasley. <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to be up here. But I'm going to spin this just to piss him off. Can I talk to her? No. Down we go. Move out of the way, you silly bitch. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented sleep apnea. Well, you have to just run around. Oh, that's screwed like on my door. Probably should fully powder a little bit, but you know. I'm old fashioned. What are you looking at? Oh, how do I grab that? Rapid me. Reactions. Possibly be as difficult as it seems. Hello, I, I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello, I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Evil if I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. Be dynamic and over. Wrecking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Also, you come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. 
Right, I think here would be a good time to call it. Is it scared? How do I save setting? Mm -hmm. Is it L? Oh, we got a bit of a, we got a bit of an issue here. I don't actually know how to save the game. This tabs not doing anything. It says press the sib on what? But what's the key? Got the settings and work out what the pause button is, aren't I? Or am I just. There we go, because I am actually just special. I'll save it this. Oh, God. Well then. Looks better. Yeah, I know, I have figured this out. I am just a bit special, to be fair. No, it was it was a good stream. I enjoyed that. Uh, it started off quite fast, to be fair, after the character creation, and then it kind of just like I don't know. It was just a bit of like do this, do that, and it got a bit like was it tedious? But like it was just like can I get into it? But we're starting again, you know. We've done like the first two classes. We've opened up two side quests with the um, the dueling and the um, the the painting mirror thing, and then obviously we got the other places. So I think we'll be in good position next time we stream this to like really get into the meat of the game and see how far we can get. Um it was an interesting stream. First stream bar myself. Just a bit. We're both autistic, aren't we? Um what was I saying? Yeah, first stream by myself. Well, technically no, I did do Minecraft, but you know, that we don't talk about that stream. That was just that was a whole new disaster. Um I will be back 8pm GMT on Thursday with Mr. Lankowski. We will be playing some um, Pokemon Red and Blue. Hopefully, I think we're on four badges. Definitely done three, possibly done four. We'll be looking to uh, try and get closer to uh, the Elite Four and rounding out Pokemon. Same with Raft when we play that next. We're looking to round that out and then it'll... Uh, after we get them two out of the way, it'll open us up to new games. I don't think Lank's playing the forest again. So I will be playing it probably with Callum or by myself at some point, but I don't know when on stream, if not. And we're on about starting a couple of um, podcast series almost. So there will be normal videos alongside the live streams and the shorts. Check out the shorts. They go live, I believe, 5 and 7 p.m. weekdays and 3 and 5 p.m. On weekends, I'm thinking of doing three shorts on a weekend and two on normal days, but they will be here. I think there's two gone live today and uh, two tomorrow, so yeah, keep an eye out for them and uh, 
thank you for everyone who joined the stream remember to comment like and subscribe and any feedback on future games the live stream if it's too loud or anything would be appreciated so thank you for joining me and uh, see you next time ciao